One of the really neat features with GitLab is that you can organize your projects into groups. So if you've got a lot of different repositories, which is kind of the case with me, you know, I can organize you know, some of the projects in a different group than the others. And this is really nice, especially if you want to grant access to multiple projects. For example, let me switch over to my GitLab here. So my GitLab, I'm not currently using groups. So my personal projects, this is, you know, like 10 or 12 of my repos here. But if I view all, you will see all of my repositories. I've got 25, 30 repos now on my GitLab. And I have several DTOS related repositories. Uh, DTOS here, that's the script, the actual installation script that gives you DTOS, which is my Arch Linux post installation script. You've got DTOS sounds, which gives uh, DTOS startup sounds, shutdown sounds, DTOS backgrounds as a wallpaper pack. DTOS configs are all the config files that get placed on your system when you install DTOS. So you get my Xmonad config and bash config, fish config, my Doom Emacs config. You got DTOS. DTOS dash package build, which is the package build for all the programs that I maintain, and then DTOS core repo, which is the actual repository of the binaries that are created from the package build. So I've got all these DTOS related repositories. And honestly, anybody that wanted to become a member and actually work on any of these DTOS related repositories probably needs access to all the DTOS related repositories, right? And it makes sense. If I had all of this in a group, if I just moved all of the DTOS projects into one group, then I can give somebody access to the group itself and they get access to all of the projects within that group. And that makes sense. It also makes sense just from an organizational standpoint because the DTOS related stuff really needs to be separate from my personal stuff, like my dot files and things. You know, I don't, you know, I need a separation of this is my personal stuff and DTOS is more of a community project that other people can work on. It, it isn't necessarily my baby. I'll maintain it, but you know, like my dot files is really my stuff. You know, people will occasionally open issues or do merge requests, you know, maybe if they see something like a typo or something, but it's not a project that people are going to join and actually work on because I don't want you working on my dot files, right? This is for, you know, like my key bindings and things like that. I don't want people, you know, trying to change my workflow with my personal stuff like my dot files. So it makes sense to to have that separation, I think what I'm going to do, I've kind of resisted using GitLab groups. I've known they existed for a while, but DTOS is starting to grow to the point where I need to move all those DTOS related repos into a group. And I'm going to do that on camera today. So let me switch over to my desktop and here in the browser, we're looking at, of course, my personal projects. It just lists all of my repositories on my GitLab and you have a groups tab, which once you create a group, it will appear under groups. I've already created a DTOS group. How you create a new group, uh, similar to how you create a project, you go to the menu and instead of projects, create new project, you go to groups and create a group and then just click create group and of course similar to how you create a, a project you would give it a name and you would give it a url so in my case i called this dtos and of course the uh, url would be dtos it added a one to it because dtos without the one already exists but i'm not going to create anything new here and then of course you have the options of do you want this group to be private meaning no one sees this but me or public meaning anybody that visits gitlab will be able to view this group and the projects within it. For those of you that maintain your own personal instances of GitLab, you may also have a third option here, which will say internal, meaning only people that are signed up and logged in to your instance of GitLab can see the groups and the projects. Now I don't need to create this group, so let me back out of this because I've already created the DTOS group. And you can see I've already moved an existing project of mine into this group as a test. This is not an important project. It's probably something I'll delete. This was a, a little GTK app that I made on video about hmm, three months ago when I uh, did my very first video on I'm going to create my own GTK app and I'm going to write it in two different languages, Haskell and Python. And, you know, I, I made this repo here for the source code called DTOS dash hub right now. I think it's a private repository, so you guys won't see it, but I just wanted to do something that's not important, you know, to move it here to see how it works before I start moving some of my important repos. And it actually was pretty easy to move this stuff. So let me back out of this and then go back into personal projects. 
and I'm going to start moving the DTOS repos here. So what I'm going to say right now is as I'm moving these DTOS repos, the URLs for all of these DTOS related projects will change, meaning while I'm making these moves, things are going to break. You guys that are installing DTOS while I'm making these moves, the script is not going to work. The repos are no longer going to work because the URL has changed. All the package builds are not going to work because they're going to be looking for source code where the URLs have changed, etc. So I'm going to have to do some fixing off camera. But what I'm doing here, I want to show you how to actually move the repo. So let's start with the DTOS repo, the actual script. What I'm going to do is go into settings. And then if I scroll down here, there's some advanced settings, I believe. I believe that's where I will be able to actually move the project. You could also delete the project in the advanced settings if you wanted to. I should have an option here for transfer project. So select a new namespace, meaning no longer is this going to be gitlab.com slash dwt1, which is my username, slash dtos. Instead, it's going to be gitlab.com slash the group name DTOS that we just created slash DTOS, the project name, if that makes sense. So, so we're going to move this from user Derek Taylor to group DTOS and transfer project. And of course, it's going to require confirmation because again, when you change URLs of projects, things are going to break. Anybody that was depending on this source code and was using the URL, the URL is changing things are going to break. It's, it's one of the reasons why I've kind of resisted organizing my stuff into these groups. If I had started with the groups, it was fine, but now I know I'm going to break some people's stuff, but it's something I was, I know I was eventually going to need to do anyway. So today I'm just going to go ahead and rip the bandaid off. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. It says type DTOS. So the name of the repo to confirm. So DTOS confirm. And now let me just open up a new tab here. So if I go to my projects here and actually I didn't want to go to my projects here I actually really wanted to go to my my home page here so gitlab.com dwt1 and go to groups and now DTOS has two projects within it so if I click on it you will see the group page DTOS and then the projects within it now and if I click on the DTOS project yeah the URL has changed and now what I want to do is I want to go and move all of the other DTOS related repos I'm gonna go ahead and move DTOS sounds and once again go to settings I'm gonna do the seven or eight DTOS related repositories I'm gonna move all those to the DTOS group of course I won't waste your time and make you guys watch me so I would just uh, speed this along here. So I'm going to jump ahead on the video once I'm done. And that just took three or four minutes to move all those DTOS related repositories to this new DTOS group. And by the way, you have new subgroup, this button here. So you can actually have subgroups within a group, which is really nice, especially if you maintain a very large kind of complicated project with a whole bunch of members that you need to manage uh, membership and permissions and things like that. That's what the, the groups are really for. I also like the fact that it just is good for organization, right? Because I, I don't have to go look for all the various DTOS related repositories through, you know, all of my personal projects, because now that I've moved them to their own group, None of those are part of my personal projects anymore, which makes sense because they're not really personal projects. Oh, I had this other DTOS related repo, a private repo, DTOS build ISO, a repo I built months ago. And I actually had somebody that wanted to build an ISO for me and he actually built an ISO for me at one time, but it's no longer maintained. I'll probably just delete that repository there. So now what I need to do is I actually need to go and actually change all the URLs for like the package builds and the core repo and the DTOS script itself is going to have some URLs in it that no longer work. So I'm going to spend the next, I don't know, half an hour to an hour changing all the URLs and the various files that I need to and push them now to the new GitLab group DTOS. Anyway, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show, Devin, Dustin, Gabe, James, Max, and Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Why You Bald, Homie, Alan, Armor, Dragon, Chuck, Commander Angry, Dio Guy, Dylan, George Lee, Linux Ninja, Marstrom, Mike Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Arch, and Medora, Polytech, Realities for Lust, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about GitLab groups would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All 
these fine ladies and gentlemen. There are my supporters over on Patreon because without each and every one of these guys, I couldn't do what I do. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to help support me, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.